All right, welcome back, everyone. This is Tonberry Pond. This is episode three of my Tales of Vesperia Let's Play. More like, actually, it's a playthrough. Um, where do we leave off? All right, I'm gonna buy some items. What we got here? Skimitar. Take one of them. Take one of them. All right. Sure. Uh, all right. I think that's all the goodies I can get from this guy. Let's equip our shiz. Oops. No. Nice. All right. Let's get out this beast. Gotta talk to some peoples. Hmm. Well, we already tried talking to these guys. Oh, cutscene. Still loving that repeat outfit. It's so cool. You there. How about coming to work for me? You'll be paid, of course. Hmm. Yo, Daddy Watch Fat Sacks. Around the president. Well, what do you say? He honestly didn't say a damn thing, and so it's not bad manners to try and buy someone without even introducing yourself. Fuck yeah, that's what I'm Watch talking about. Mouth. Punch that four eyes in the face. You're just as charming as I expected. I'm Kaufman of the Merchants Guild Fortunes Market. We handle everything from trade to distribution. Good for you. You see, I'm in quite a tight spot, and it's all thanks to these tremors. I'd rather not know, but was that the work of a monster? Yes, the Lord of the Plains. Lord of the Plains? He's the leader of that pack of monsters. The leader? Man, there's some amazing things out there. Do you know if there's another way we can cross the plains? We're in a hurry. Huh. <sighs> I'm afraid you'll just have to wait for the Lord of the Plains to leave. Uh -oh. huh. I guess there's no point getting worked up over it. But I can't afford to just sit and wait. I'm gonna get a second opinion. Uh. Rapide's not too impressed. You're with a guild that does product distribution, but you don't know any other routes? I could hire you and just charge through once the leader moves on, but uh, you don't seem interested. If it's bodyguards you want, why not hire the knights? Are you forgetting that we guild members have thrown away our rights as Imperial citizens? Once you leave the Empire behind, you can't expect them to help you a whole lot. So naturally, the Imperial Knights would never deign to escort the likes of us. Wow, you really stick to your principles. Without that level of determination, one could never hope to run a guild. Well, maybe you could use your determination to do something about that Lord of the Plains. <laughs> Go to the Koi Woods that lie to the west of here. If you pass through the forest, you'll come out on the far side of the plains. But the fact that you guys aren't going that way must mean we have some surprise to look forward to. Obviously. I like a boy with quick wits. But I like one that doesn't waste a potential investment even better. Thanks. I owe you one. Maybe I'll talk to you about that job if we meet again. So we got introduced to the concept of guilds. Estelle. I, I'm not waiting around for the monsters to leave or anything. I'm just resting a little. Oh, I see. Well then, I guess I'll just have to take the other way around by myself. What? H how did you... Hey, wait for me! <laughs> Guilds. That woman who gave us directions. She said she was in a guild, right? That was Miss Kaufman of Fortune's Market. <laughs> Giving up their rights as Imperial citizens and just... Living free. 
Yuri, are you interested in the guilds? Interested? Nah, I just never had much contact with them. Back in the capital, there weren't any gritty guild types who'd refuse the knight's protection. We may meet lots of people in guilds before we're done with our trip. I hope they're a little less aggressive than that woman was. West of here. All right, so I guess we're gonna have to leave. There's something I want to check on. Uh, I want to see if that caravan's down to the south still. Yep. Cool. All right. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna do some grinding and then I'll be right back. Yourself, Estelle. Really? My swordmaster used to scold me terribly. Well, I have to admit, I'd be surprised <coughs> if you look too natural. I really don't like fighting. I don't like hurting people. How ladylike of you. But if I don't fight, I'll end up hurt myself, right? Yeah, that's pretty much how it works. I wish I could enjoy fighting like you do, Yuri. You think I enjoy this? Don't you? I mean, the way your eyes shine, that only happens when you're fighting. Uh oh, really? Well, wow, you're pretty observant. Yes, I like watching people. <laughs> That's just a bit creepy. All right, after a bit of grinding, it's time to enter this forest. The Koi. Koi Woods, I think it's called. There we go. A forest in a place like this can only mean the Koi Woods? Bingo. You're just full of information, aren't you? I read in a book once that a curse will fall upon anyone who enters the woods. Ah, so that must be the surprise. Not going in? That's fine by me, but what about Flynn? I know. Okay, let's go. Muster your courage. The curse as Estelle knows. Will this forest really get us to the other side of the hold? If it doesn't, we'll just come back. But what if I get turned into a frog or a snake by the forest's curse? Oh, if that geez. happens, I'll take care of you. You'll take care of me? Of course I would. Don't worry. I had pet frogs Shoot her in the and face. snakes when I was a kid. <laughs> if you got turned into a frog or a snake, Yuri, I wouldn't have any take idea what to feed you. We can do this. Resound, oh cry of victory. is it supposed to be anyway the voices of corpses buried beneath the trees creep up and lure us to our doom oh geez oh brother what's that exactly last year what's it doing in a place like this let's take a break Right. We just got in the woods. Huh? What's this? <gasps> oh, 
smart. I guess she didn't read that in the book. Don't touch strange artifacts from thousands of years ago. Damn, that's bitter. Look at Rapide being a pillow. You all right? Oh, my head feels a little... I'll be fine. <laughs> what happened to me? You just fell over all of a sudden. Don't you remember? Perhaps it was the air that made me dizzy. Air. That's sort of like the fuel that powers the Blastia, right? I heard that even though we can't see it, it's scattered through the atmosphere. Yes, that's air. I read once that dense air can have negative effects on people. Hmm. Maybe that's what started the rumor of the curse. Makes sense. Hey, you only just woke up. You should rest a bit more. But I can't. If we don't catch up with Flynn soon... And what if you collapse again and this time you're out for the whole night? You're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> that reaction. Ugh. Huh. I suppose we'll never get full trying to eat these. It's delicious. Liar. Hold on a sec. I can make something simple. You can cook, Yuri? I'm not exactly a royal chef. I just have a few recipes I learned growing up. Aren't you worried at all that Flynn is in danger? Huh? Does it look that way? Well, yes. Honestly, I'm not worried about him. He's always managed to take care of himself. Actually, it's the guys who are after him I feel sorry for. What do you mean? Ever since we were kids, I've never been able to beat Flynn at anything. Swords, racing, whatever. After he'd won, he'd always have the nerve to say, You all right, Yuri? <laughs> oh, man. That must be nice. I've never had anyone like that in my life. What, someone to keep? You can count yourself lucky. Yeah, you don't feel like second place your entire life. Well, dinner's ready. Thank you for the meal. Uh, it wasn't anything special. I thought it was very tasty. I can't imagine being able to cook anything myself. It's just like using a sword or magic. You've got to learn it by doing it. You just need to practice with a few recipes. You'll be cooking before you know it. Practice with recipes? Here, I'll show you how it's done. Cooking clears your mind. And it's great for regaining lost energy. Cooking has a lot of other effects as well. This is pretty much everything I know how to cook right now. So, in order to make a sandwich, you'll need bread and an egg. Which we just happen to have right here. After choosing the ingredients, it's time to cook. I remember, I remember in Symphonia, <clears throat> you had to track down like a mystery chef that would just like magically appear hiding somewhere. I wonder if they still have that. You're so good at that. I'm not sure I'd be able to get that good at cooking. Well, it comes more naturally to some people than others. Just because you have a recipe doesn't mean it'll always turn out like you think. Really? So you can mess it up? Well, you usually taste your food while cooking. But some people don't. Tasting? You know, like when cooks taste the food they make? Well, you're Jeez. a sheltered little princess who's lived her life in a castle. It's only normal. Sheltered little princess? I suppose so. What is it, Repeat? Well, shall we be going? He's like, I'm tired of hearing you fuckers talk. Stop talking all night. Yeah, I get it. Thinking Rapid. Rapid, when I passed out, you lay down and made the nicest pillow for me. Thank you very much. What are you doing? Called it. I'm um thanking Rapid. Rapid? He's not here. Huh? What? Maybe he doesn't like me. Nah, he acts like that with just about everybody. Well then, I'll just have to keep trying until he accepts me. Give a quick save. I 
There was a fork in the road back here. I want to check it out. Look at that thing in the background. What the hell is that? Some butterfly dragon thing? What the fuck? Juggle! I juggled those fucking Bambi eaters. Iron circlet. It's gotta be for her. Oh yeah! Smart to double back. Nothing there. Can we go in there? No. Such a weird little creature. Look at that thing. Scytha meets centipede meets butterfly. Hmm. Hard mail. I thought I already had that. Yeah. A little belly warmer. <laughs> That's funny. You Oh, I tried to juke it. Couldn't. Guess we can do this. Ah. Or be eaten. Monsters are easier to beat than I thought. Isn't that better than being harder than you thought? But I feel sorry for them. <sighs> You're way too nice. <laughs> I don't particularly enjoy being someone else's dinner. You're right. This is different from inside the castle. The strong eat the weak. Well, we're not going to be eating any of these monsters. <clears throat> I... I won't hesitate to defeat any monsters. But I will never forget. I won't I hesitate, bitch. Well, suit yourself, I guess. Then, when I return to the capital, I will make graves in memory of all the monsters I've killed. I, uh, I guess you could do that. I don't understand this girl at all. an egg bear. Whoa! Look how chill they are. <laughs> they don't even care. Look at Yuri's face. It's like, really, kid? Oh, man, that hurt. What is this chump? Remember, this is a uh, Carol. Is this kid for real? It's all right now. Huh? The monster turned into a girl? It's like, oh, brother, this should be interesting. I'm Carol Capel. I'm a member of the Hunting Blades Guild. We travel the globe in search of the toughest monsters. 
And we wear the coolest MC Hammer pants! I'm Yuri. This is Estelle. And you've met Repeat already. Anyway, nice to meet you. What? Yuri, wait! My apologies. Huh? Hey, wait up! Where are you guys going? You guys are here to enter the woods, right? Well then, I'll... Actually, we've just finished coming through the woods and we're on our way to Halor. No way! You guys made it through the cursed woods? Did you guys run into any egg bears? The fuck is an egg bear? Do you know what he's talking about, Yuri? Nope. I don't think we've seen any. Man, I wonder if I should head back to town then. They definitely won't like it if I keep them waiting. I'm not sure you two would make it on your own, but never fear! The star member of the Hunting Blades will be your escort! See that? I've even got my own Blastia! What? You guys both have one too? Uh, oh yeah? Whoa, how do you like this? It has information about monsters. Hmm? After a certain point, all the pages are blank. That's because I'm going to fill it up with piles of monsters after this. Hey, wait! Who said you could just ride in there? It might hurt your star member status if it got out that you broke your sword. Oh, that? I had to give myself some kind of handicap or else it wouldn't have been a fair fight. Hey, that's actually not too bad. Yo, do you guys even know where you're going? Halor's to the north once you get out of the wood. Come on, guys! Wait for me! What's in that treasure chest? Carol! Even dogs have pride. I don't understand Repeat. He's a dog with claws and fangs, but he uses weapons? Yeah, I guess dogs do usually fight with claws and fangs. Huh? But Repeat's a dog, isn't he? Repeat is Repeat. What does that mean? Whatever he is, Rapide doesn't think of himself as a dog. That's why he uses weapons and items. But that's not to say that he thinks of himself as a human either. I don't really understand. He's a cut he above. Very proud. Yep, so show him some respect. Hey, Yuri, are you translating what Rapide's saying? Nah, it's just your imagination. Hmm. Oh shit! Activations! <laughs> Alright, we made it out. Let's check on uh, Carol's items. Let's see here. Yeah. Bonus titles? Where is it at? There we are. Let's <laughs> see how ridiculous these ones look. <laughs> oh boy! Look at his face! Little jit. With a giant man purse! Don't mess with him, man! He's carrying lunch! He's not a, he's not a lady, he's a guy. What the fuck? Call him lunch lady for her. Towel fanatic. It's a little different. I don't like it. Alright, just another one of those. Styling and profiling. That one's pretty cool. Hell no. It reminds me of, um, what is that? Fantasy Star 3? Like generations of doom, kind of shit, or, or generations of yeah, something like that. This is from a different video game. 
That looks so familiar. Brave Vesperia. Yeah. There, his hair is sticking through the helmet. What kind of helmet is that? I'm going to stick with this. Styling and profiling, man. Alright. Let's save. Do a bit of grinding. And then we'll be right back. Alright, friends make the journey fun. Having friends to talk to really makes traveling a lot more fun. When I'm by myself, I get a little scared. Uh, I mean bored. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> hey, Carol, there's a monster behind you. What? Oh, my mistake. I must be seeing things. D don't do that! Our trip just got more lively. <laughs> <laughs> I like those little cutscenes. I forgot how, how cute they were. Oh, leave me alone! All right, uh, maybe I should get to level 10 though. Let's take out a few more people. So silly. Broken sword. Carol, are you okay? E even though your sword's still broken? Nah, it's lighter and feels easier to use. Now your sword won't be swinging you anymore. Sounds good to me. Breaking your sword to get it to just the right length. <laughs> You're obviously some guild's ace. Yuri, you didn't break Carol's sword on purpose, did you? <laughs> I'm not that good. <laughs> Oh no. Let's work together. Still kind of weak though. Still a bit weak. And we got. If I wasn't mistaken, I think we got chicken from that enemy. That's pretty funny. Just one? Just one of these guys? I don't think they're taking me seriously. This? Scary. <coughs> Your legs are shaking. You're kidding. Yeah, I am. Hmm. How much longer I got to go? All right. Repeat and Carol. About 600 more. Eh, I kind of want to just move along. Let me do a quick save. All right. City of Blossoms, Halur. Halur, the City of Blossom. Yeah, that's right. Don't they have a barrier here? Yes, there should be. You guys haven't been to Halur before, right? So then you haven't heard about the tree barrier? Tree barrier? Some Blastia fuse to plant life, gain organic qualities, and evolve. The tree barrier of Halor is one prime example of this. I read that in a book. <laughs> no shit. Thank you, Professor. So what's happened to this famous... Hmm. Doesn't look like it's doing much right now. Every year... Just before the blossoms are in full bloom, the barrier weakens for a while. It's just that time of year right now. And the monsters took the opportunity to attack. Is that when the barrier went down? Yeah, the monsters were taken care of, but the tree is slowly starting to decay. Hey! Wh what is it? Sorry, I gotta run! Oh. The hell? Does that kid ever sit still? So what? I guess you'll be looking for Flynn now, huh, Estelle? 
Doesn't she know we need to keep a low profile? And what happened to looking for Flynn? Might I help heal your wounds? Oh my, you can use healing arts? Why, that would be excellent. But I'm afraid we don't have very much. No, no. I don't need any. Amazing. Heart of gold, bro. Uh, uh, please don't mention it. My heavens, what amazing healing arts you have. How can we ever thank you? No, really. Think nothing of it. What a humble young lady. I wish the Imperial Knights could follow your example. Not a chance. The Knights refused to lift a finger to protect us from the monsters. Well, I guess the Empire couldn't care less what happens to us here. No, th that's not true. Ah, but that one night sure was different, wasn't he? Yes, that young man. Wasn't he? If not for him, we would have all been lost. The barrier weakened earlier than usual this year, and we were attacked before the Guild could come to protect us. There was a knight who happened to be passing through our town on a pilgrimage. He and his brigade drove off all the monsters. A knight on a pilgrimage? Was this knight named Flynn by any chance? Yes, his name was Flynn Shifo. Is he still in the city? No, he left the village afterwards in search of a mage who could fix the barrier. You know where he went? It looked like he was headed east, but beyond that I couldn't tell you. I see. So we can wait here, and Flynn will come to us. Looks like we've caught up with him. Don't you feel better now? Yes. I won't be able to relax until I see him. I guess I feel better. I think I'll go have a look at this famous tree. Want to come with? Ah, yes. Yuri, you don't mind? You're okay not going after the Blastia core thief? I can spare enough time to look at a tree at least. Now we gotta find Carol, silly ass. This Carol guy is kind of weird. He does seem a bit restless, but that doesn't make him a bad person. He doesn't seem evil, but I'll bet he's got some weird thoughts going on in his head. You're only saying that because you can see some of yourself in him. You think the two of us are alike? Yes. It's like you have genuine emotions, but your pride won't let you show them. So I can't bring myself to dislike him. <laughs> Did I upset you? No, that's just some pretty deep insight about people you only just met, is all. Hey! He's got a point. <sighs> I had the wrong person. And none of the others from the guild are here either. I kept her waiting so long. She must have gotten mad and left. I wanted to show her Halur's flowers in full bloom. Then maybe... Carol, what's the matter? Where'd she go? Is she really gone? I'm doing the best I can. Carol? Let's give him some time alone. I think Carol's voice actor is the same one who does um, Jim from a really old anime called uh, Outlaw Star. It's over. It's over. It's all over. It's really over. Everything. Everything, Everything is, is over. over. Yeah. All right. Yeah! We got weapons now. We're gonna... The mayor's gonna let us fight now. Let's beat up those monsters just like Flan. Yeah! Even those kids are trying to fight. I hope the barrier is restored soon. Me too. Barrier Blastia. Even though Daydenhold was struggling without a barrier, they'd have had issues even with one. Yes, barriers really do have a big impact on people's day-to-day -day lives. Well, they keep people safe from monsters just by being there. It's no surprise it changes things. I want to help heal Halur's tree as soon as possible so that everyone can feel safe again. Where is this place? Okay. Guys, back in town. Yeah. Hand axe. All right. E. 
equip. Hmm. It's huge up close. The tree's flowers should blossom any day now. Yeah, I wish I could see it in bloom. I know how you feel. There's something about the image of a tall tree vibrant with blossoms and protecting the city that's so romantic. You know, I'm gonna stay here and help heal the injured. Hmm. If you're gonna heal something, maybe you could heal the barrier itself. What do you mean? When monsters come again, more people are gonna get hurt. Those kids we just saw could be among them. That's true, but I have no idea how I could heal the barrier. What you need to heal is this tree. It wouldn't be in this condition just because some monsters attacked it. You think there's some other reason? I think there's gotta be. What are the two of you doing over here? We're trying to figure out why the tree has withered like this. I don't know if you'll make much progress on that one. The Knight Flynn couldn't figure out the reason either. Oh, Carol! Carol, we need your help! What are you talking about? It seems these two are trying to figure out the reason the trees withered so. Oh, is that all? Well, what do you mean, is that all? I know the reason. It's why I was in the forest looking for the egg bear. Huh? What are you talking about? Look closely at the ground. Notice the strange color? That color is where the ground absorbed the blood of monsters who attacked the town. That blood has been poisoning Halur's tree. What? The monster blood? I had no idea. Carol, you really know your stuff, don't you? It was nothing. Is there anything we can do to get rid of the poison? I know a way, but... Well, no one believes me. Come on, try us. I think we'd be able to do it if we had a panacea bottle. Maybe we can get one in the general store. Let's go, Yuri. Ruff. Tree of Halur. I can't wait until the tree's blossoms are in full bloom. They'll be fantastic. I bet there's a flood of petals big enough to just sweep you away. All those petals dancing in the breeze. It'd be like a dream. I wonder how they deal with all their houses getting buried in flowers every year. That's got to be a pain to clean up. You really take the fun out of things, Yuri. <laughs> Makes me think about Japan and the cherry blossoms. Panacea! Panacea. Welcome to the store. Do you have any panacea bottle? Unfortunately, we're sold out at the moment. But how can that be? Well, you know, if I had the right ingredients, I'd be able to fix them up for you. What would you need to make it? I'd need three ingredients. Egg bear claw, nea fruit, and Laluria petal. But why do you need a panacea bottle so badly? The kid came by the other day asking about the same exact thing. We want to heal Halur's tree. What's that? I've never heard of using a panacea bottle on a tree before. Hmm. What sort of thing is the Nia fruit you mentioned? That would be the bitter fruit you said was so delicious back in the woods. So, what's an egg bear then? Sorry, I can't help you there. If a member of the Hunting Blades were here, they might be able to tell you. They make their living hunting monsters. So that's why he was in the forest. What can you tell us about the Laluria petal? You know the tree in the middle of town, right? It's a petal from that tree. Normally, we use magic resin, but there isn't any around these parts at all. But the tree is all withered. I believe the mayor has some Laluria petals. You might try asking him. Off we gotcha. go. We'll come back when we've gotten the ingredients together. Come on, Carol. We're going back to the Koi Woods. What do you mean? Remember? Prepare to die, Egg Bear! <laughs> you mean you believe what I said about Prepare the to die, Egg Bear! Are you lying? That was funny shit. Well then, we'll have to go with what you told us. <laughs> Yuri, alright, I'll help you out just this once. It's settled then. The three of us will restore the barrier to- You're coming too, Estelle? Well, of course I am. What about waiting for Flynn? 
Wasn't it you who said if you're going to heal something, it should be the tree? We'll just have to fix the tree before he gets back. <laughs> Can't wait to see the look on his face. All right. Maps. Estelle, what are you looking at? It's a map of the area around here. Oh, let me see. Hey, this is almost completely blank. You can't call this a map. Really? You should try a surveyor's guild like the World Cellar. Their maps are really amazing. All the top guild members have one. So then naturally you've got a copy, right, Carol? Let's see it. Uh, well, <laughs> you see, once you get as good as I am, you don't need to use a map anymore. Oh, that's too bad. So I full really of shit. wanted to see it. Mr. Mayor! You wouldn't happen to have any Lemuria petals, would you? Who'd you hear that from? I mean, I do, but... Ah, so that's why you need a petal. The Leluria is one of the three flowers that blooms on Halur's tree. The petals are dried for half a year in the shade, and they're very valuable. This is my last petal, but if it'll restore the tree to its old self, then I don't mind giving it to you. What a nice guy. Thank you. Next up on the list is the Nia fruit and an egg bear club. Yep. Let's go to the Koi Wood. Get some Nia, Nia fruit, fruit, Nia fruit. Oh. It's blocked by rocks. Uh, I think. Here we go. Fuck you, bird. Oh wait, let's see if, uh, can't remember if he had anything. There we go. <clears throat> Back to the Koi Woods. Koi, Koi, Koi Woods. you guys, and repeat too, I guess, all have Blastia. Aren't Bodhi Blastia pretty rare? I didn't think many people had them. You have one too, though. I belong to a guild. Sometimes we get a chance to get one. And Ruins Gate keeps finding more. That's a guild that excavates Blastia. <laughs> there are even guilds that dig up Blastia from ruins? If there weren't, then the Empire would control all the Blastia. Normal folks wouldn't get any. The Empire regulates the ancient Blastia artifacts due to their potential danger. I think that makes sense. If Blastia weren't regulated, anyone could use dangerous magic. But they've gone way overboard. They have a monopoly. Uh, I don't know about... So anyway, what's your story? How'd you get yours? I used to be in the Imperial Knights. This was a going away present. Repeat got his as a keepsake of his old owner. A going away present? Sounds more like you stole it to me. So what about you, Estelle? Uh, I got mine from... Uh... Look at her, she's a noble. They all have the... I knew you were a noble. Well, at least one of you has some class. Yeah, yeah. Let's go get <laughs> that Nia fruit. Getting to know Rapide. <sighs> Do you mind if I scratch behind your ears? Oh, I'm sorry. I guess it's still too soon for me to pet you. Let's start over by getting to know each other a little better. <laughs> so then, my name is Estelise. You knew that already, right? Huh? Repeat? Introducing yourself to an invisible friend? Oh, I <laughs> won't give up. About time he learned that. How did it not see me? Oh man. All right, all right. Man, I was just getting warmed up.
can't get back there that way. Carol and Rapide. What's the matter, Rapide? Why are you mad? Uh, hold on! Y you don't want to eat me, do you? <laughs> Help me, Yuri! Is something the matter, Carol? It's... it's nothing! <laughs> Talk about mood swings. Leave the dog alone. Sorry if I hurt you. Yeah, I beat you into next week. <laughs> oh. I felt like there was like a mist around me when I beat the enemy. Uh, yeet! one that way yeah what'll we do then hand me a nia fruit would you i'm gonna use it to lure out the egg bear the egg bear has very unusual tastes you see <laughs> he doesn't like the smell of that jeez you smell horrible me that smell isn't coming from me Repeat is out of there, yo. <laughs> oh my god. Please tell us when you're gonna do something like that. Oh no! Uh. Repeat! <laughs> Everyone keep a lookout! An egg bear could come out any time and they're famous for their terrible ferocity. So then, Captain Carroll, I'm assuming that you're gonna lead the charge against this terribly ferocious monster? Of course! But I could use a hand from you, Yuri. I'll help too. Oh, and repeat also. I just now noticed that his blastia is around his tail. Ugh. I look so putrid. Nia fruit. All right. A Nia fruit here. Why would a Nia fruit be lying on the ground in the forest? I didn't see a Nia tree nearby. Oh, that'd be the monsters in the forest. It's how they mark their territory. Can we really just take it then? I suppose there's no way for us to ask permission. Yeah, I don't really speak monster. Carol, they don't <laughs> teach that in your guild, do they? The hunting blades hunt monsters. We don't need to waste time making friends with them. That's a shame. All right. This might be the end of this episode as well. Gaining on it, man. Let's see here. Let's press our luck just a little bit more. Oh yeah, duh. That's probably the egg bear back there. Why didn't I put two and two together? How do we get to it? a really stupid enemy right there. Oh, another cutscene. Be on your guard, everyone. It's really ferocious. Hey, fearless leader. You're not supposed to hide right after saying things like that. The star always performs the finishing blow. Everybody knows that. Just a little guy. No, I don't think so. Now, uh, that kind of looks like a bear. Th that's an egg bear? To fuck well, the shit up, man. You, Captain Carol. Operation Stink Bomb was a smashing success. Hey, don't go giving my plan weird names. Stand up straight when you say stuff like that. <laughs> Ooh. 
In other words, who are you talking to, kid? Oh shit! Shit! Wrong move! There we go. Uh oh! I did quite a bit of damage. My dog. Carol, come get the claw. I don't know what I'm doing here. What? Anybody can do that. It just comes right off. Double tap here, it. Let me help too. Estelle. Double tap it. The perimeter. R right. Y you sure it's totally dead, right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Captain. If I didn't know you were just goofing around, I'd swear you were really scared. Uh, <laughs> pretty good, huh? How's All the right. nose, Repeat? All right, let's head back. All right, well, that's that. We can't seem to find our way through this forest at all. Oh, could this be the curse? What should we do, Yuri? There really was a curse after all. Don't be stupid. Or look at Repeat just staring her down. Direction. Like no, of course I do. This chick, I think. Then maybe it's my fault. What should we do? They say no medicine can cure a fool, but I wish something could cure a bad sense of direction. <sighs> Uh, oops. I think we're near the exit here. Yeah, I remember this. All right, so I think this will be the end of episode. Uh, <clears throat> what is this? Episode three now? Pretty sure it is. All right, let's get out here. Quick save. Quick save. All right, guys. Well, if you stuck it out to the end of the video, thank you. And uh, I'm Tom Barry Pond, and I'm going to keep dishing out these uh, episodes one after another. So if you like the com uh, content, please like and subscribe, or even leave a comment if you feel like it. All right, guys, take it easy. Au revoir.